Yo, Wrench, where you at, man? Yo, you're late, Marky Mark. As much as I enjoy our banter and <clears throat> underlying sexual tension, I'm hurt. I thought we moved on to overt sexual tension. Marcus, there's something I want to show you. On my laptop, dude. Oh, where you? Did you? Did you? <laughs> Close up and prepare yourself for the breathtaking, spine tingling, and almost entirely mind numbing noodle keynote. Cue it up. You all told us, hey, self driving cars sound pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but we have always prided ourselves in delivering the best. What do you think of a car that knows you, knows who you are? The kind this of security is awesome. that only biometrics yeah. can give you. Your key. and drink your coffee while it safely drives you to work. It will remember your preferences and save them right into your biometric profile. For those who opt into the CTOS insurance programs, you get good driver discount automatically and access to fast transit lanes. Sounds too good to be true? It's not. Because at Noodle, we don't wait for the future. So they want to add biometric data on top of those CTOS monitoring systems? Yep, because that couldn't possibly go wrong, right? I mean, we all know how altruistic CTOS is, right? Oh, and insurance companies. And how they would never, ever use our biometric data for their own nefarious purposes, right? Yeah, milk of human kindness and all that shit. There is something wrong in the state of Denmark. Maybe, uh, some daring vigilantes should check it out. Maybe, perhaps steal a cool car while we're at it? Because, you know, auto theft's always fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, Marcus. Satara, what you got for me? Well, it's a good thing you like driving. Looks like the lead engineer on the biometric car project is a loyal customer of Driver SF. Is that right? Sure is. And I just may have set up a script to reroute his ride requests to you first. Slick. Only the best for DeadSec. Check the Driver SF app on your phone when you're ready. I'm gonna need to convince him to take us to his office, right? Yes, but we've already got a plan. That we do. <laughs> Ray, you in on this one? Well, it's like Ranch says, car theft is always fun. The plan is that we hack this guy's phone. Right, we set off the alerts on his phone saying his computer at work is getting hacked. Which makes him freak out and race into work. But we won't actually hack his computer because we don't really need to. Exactly. We just need him to think it's been hacked. I like it. Well, all you gotta do is distract him so we can hack into his phone. So, uh, where am I taking you, man? Hot date tonight? My girlfriend just broke up with me. How am I gonna get this guy talking? What was that? I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Just a little nervous, that's all. This is the first ride I've done in a while. Yeah, had a bad experience, you know, and took a break. Yeah, I can imagine you'd see all sorts of shit driving people around. What happened? Oh, hell yeah. All sorts of shit? Last one was a bunch of drunk guys. Mm-hmm. 
all yelling and hollering at each other about some some sort of art car they were working on. Oh, for that uh, desert festival? Yeah. So the two of them are yelling about LEDs and animatronics and sand and yeah, what kind of drugs people should be on to view their art car. Seriously? They talked about what drugs people would be on? To tailor the experience for the right kind of hallucinations or something? Yeah, exactly that. Then one guy, he punches the other guy right in the mouth. What? So there's blood going everywhere. Meanwhile, the guy who threw the punch is whimpering that he broke his knuckles. Shit. I know, right? So I end up driving them to the nearest emergency room and get this. Yeah? They both try to hug me when I drop them off. Wow. Oh, uh, sorry. My alarm just went off. Have to check this. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! We gotta change direction, buddy. I'm sorry, but I need to get to work. No problem. Updated the destination in the app. I got it. No worries. We'll get you there. Shit! Somebody's breached security. Fuck! The one time I'm not in the office. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how it always happens. Can't believe this is happening now. We have deadlines, massive deadlines. Yeah, man, that sucks. I hate this project. Why did I ever say I'd be lead? Uh, Can you go any fast? Holy crap. Oh, yeah, I remember. Can you go any faster? I'll try. Shit! Could you speed up? I'm trying. I'm in a real hurry. I'm okay with you speeding faster, please. Almost there. You're a lifesaver, man. I am totally giving you a five-star review on the app. No problem. It's my job, after all. You're the best. And here we are at Coda Print. Okay then. Whoa! Here we go. Time to get to work. I had faith in you, Marcus. It's not like the rest of us did. Yeah, I have lots of faith in Marcus. I have faith in Marcus. Wow, guys, you all just made my day. It just means so much to me to hear you say that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to imply anything. I'm surrounded by clowns. But you love us. Well, maybe Josh and Marcus. Ouch! That's okay. It's a Man out! What the? Any hackers here? Get out! Everything seems complete. They're calling in. He's gone. Greetings, fellow security personnel. Oh. I Shit like that makes me want to smash faces. Found it, guys. Great. This should contain all the security specs and info we need. Soon we will be proud joyriders in the noodle car. Track him down. No! No, 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 no. Don't let him get the drop on you! Let's go! 
Let's see what you've got, hacker! But I don't get it. Strange. Systems are we lost. We we'll landed over to the SFPD. All systems functioning normally. What just happened? So, Josh found something interesting in the car's algorithms. Yes. There's a decision-making algorithm. They call it a life score. They fucking call it a life score? A what? It's a method for deciding which lives to prioritize in case of an accident. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna like this one. The car's onboard computer has direct access to Bloom's databases. It pulls up a score according to metrics Bloom sets. Employment, income, education, race, Gender. Fuck. Let me guess. Me and Ray get into an accident, one of us on either side. I'm SOL because I'm a young black dude. Not quite. As you know, I'm persona non grata with Blue. My life score is pretty damn low, so in that case, I'm SOL. But otherwise, yeah, you got the gist. Looks like we need a voice print and a retinal scan from that noodle VP who gave the keynote to unlock the car. Right. I'll get on it. Sending you his address now. strange woman from the internet. Internet dating is normal. What if she doesn't look like her picture? What if she thinks I don't look like my picture? Oh god, this is a bad idea. Why did I let Jonathan talk me into this? Oh, it's true. I don't have time to try and go out and meet people. Bloody hell. What if she... What if she's a noodle employee? Your proof is that she's an engineer. I can't date an employee. This is going to be disaster. Servers down. Somebody checked in faulty code again. Damn it. So, I'm coming in. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Got it. Excellent. Well, you have fun gazing into his pretty brown eyes? Yeah, no. 
But thanks for playing that thought, Ray. Marcus has way better taste than that. Woo! Nice pad this guy has. He should. He's a priority one, after all. How could I forget? This dude's house has the works. Smart TV, smart toilet, smart sink, smart carpeting, smart throw pillows, smart... everything. One of those is bound to have his voice print on it. I'm guessing he's the kind of guy who wants to constantly record his own brilliance. <laughs> Initiating quarantine. Uncertified software detected. Uninstalling. My systems are operating optimally.
good day, sir. Do I have any recordings left of the cooking show with the Italian chef? And she's cute. Why can't I find a woman like her? <sighs> because they're all married already. And this is just one value. Maybe I should watch that car show instead. Less depressing. All right, guys, I have his voice print, his retinal scan, and far too much information about his life. All that's left is to steal the car, which means breaking into the WKZ, where they're going to be storing it in preparation for Noodle's big fancy reveal. Ah, WKZ, fine purveyors of BS. And their infomercial about the Noodle car is going to get turned into a lovely expose of how they devalue human life. What's up? Time to steal a car, my friend. They have it on one of their sound stages at WKZ. All shiny and waiting for us. Sounds like fun. I've always wanted to break into a TV station. Since this is such a golden opportunity, boys, we should take advantage of it and plant some information gathering devices at WKZ. I like it. Keep an ear out. Exactly. I'm thinking some actual surveillance equipment and some software. I'll meet you near WKZ with all the gear. Sounds good. See you soon. Yo, wrench. Score! Check these out. I bet they use these during their undercover sting operations. Now, any trouble with the van? Nope. But WKZ hired humanized Zulu as extra security after all these bomb threats uh, they received. May I? Tell me, how long have you been a kitty fondler? Hey, man, you know that ain't right. Now, when you first saw the X-ray, did you recognize the action figure wedged inside your rectum? Yeah, it was my wrench figure. Figured that was the perfect hiding spot for him. Wrench, did you give Marcus the USB? Yep, way ahead of you. I uh, was just telling him to jam that puppy into one of WKZ's computers. And I'll take it from there. By the way, if they ever do make a wrench action figure, they better glue the mask on so it doesn't traumatize children. You say that like it's a bad thing. So plant Mike, put some spyware in the system, and steal a cool car using the biometric data we got from the Noodle V? I miss anything? A few other things, but don't worry. I got it covered.
up. He slipped through. Mike Planet. Like magic? <laughs> ka -ching. Shit, man, the car isn't responding. How do you do what now? Wrench, head in the game. I'm trying to turn the wheel and nothing is happening. How the hell am I supposed to drive the damn car? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be voice control. Just talk to it. Talk to it? You gotta be joking. No, just talk to it. Uh, drive car. Seriously? Exit the building. Closest exit point. Drive it. Shit, not through the window! Uh, I was a much better car voice. You were totally a fake car voice? Yeah, you, you, you were better. Oh, Jesus! Turn, turn! Dispatch to squad. Be alert. Yeah. 
me the hell out of here. All right. Without killing me? All appropriate safety protocols will be followed. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. How do I revert you to manual control? I don't understand the question. I know, I can't get control of the fucking wheel. You try asking the car to give you control? Yes! It didn't understand the question. Well, bypass the self-driving system. Are you a hacker or aren't you? Yeah, yeah. All right, I can do this before I get shot. Getting shot is inadvisable and will raise your insurance premium. Ain't nobody ask you? Yeah, I got manual control. Of the car? Awesome. Hey, don't even ask what I had to do to get it. Huh. <laughs> Finally, can catch my breath. Ooh, ooh, life scores. Life scores, that's right. We were gonna check out people's life scores. Mm, this should be entertaining. I'm sure it will be. We could just look people up. Nah, no, much less fun, and less useful footage as evidence. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Life scores should be visible when you hack people. Their profiles won't have the same granularity you'd find in the direct data, but will indicate high, medium, or low priorities. Be advised, a patrol car has been dispatched after the suspect. You've seen Noodle's new self-driving car. Keep your biometric data. They promise you safety and security in exchange for your biometrics. Using CTOS, they can see everything about you. And that may kill you. Noodle's car uses your life score linked to your biometric data and its algorithms. If it has to choose between your safety and that of someone else, the one with the higher life score lives. The other dies. Your car will kill you to save someone more important than you. You may not know your life score, but Noodle does. Will they judge you worthy? We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Where the hell were you the whole time I was working my ass off? Doing stuff. Out of my hair! Lynn can get it home? No? Alright, fuck you! Oh no! Well, we're in for a big one! Can you... can you feel it growing? In the south? How long have you been an actor? Oh, I'd say between one and thirty years, I guess. But aren't we all acting when you really get down to it? BAM! High chance of rain, people! High chance of rain! Make sure you wear your protection, okay? Jesus shit, Jimmy, where's my goddamn teleprompter? You know I can't even remember my own gosh darn name unless it gives me on the feet first, right?